Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Breaking news, Rusty Erasmus has officially announced his first team for the Rugby Championship opener between the Springboks and the Wallabies. And absolutely massive, massive news is that Sasha Feynman Gomezulu will start at 10 for the Springboks for the very first time. Andre Pollard down to the bench. A 6-2 split does remain as well as an opportunity for Ulrich Lowe who will start in the number 8 Jersey, a return of Vinny LaRue to the starting lineup, as well as the start for Kubis Reinach um, with the injured five to play. He will get an opportunity to start in at the number nine jersey. If you look at the bench, for example, a 6 2 split, Ben Jason Dixon um, appearing on it ahead of Salman Murat, as well as uh, Mark Up and Start. Quacka Smith back to being an um, impact player. Grant Williams, Andre Potter, the other two players on the bench. And Malcolm Marks is fit and will come off the bench against the Wallabies as well. So the Springbok side still missing a few players but um, as strong as we probably could go with the current squad. Before we get into it and start breaking it down, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is how we do line up. Let's get into it. In the front row, as expected, Oxen Chair, Bongi Manambi and Francois Herbert do start with Ibn Etzebeth and Archie Sneiman completing that tight five. Um, it's, it's an interesting one, isn't it, in terms of the, the Archie Sneiman selection because... Um, there's no doubt that he is best utilized off the bench, that he is, uh, you know, probably one of the best impact players in the world alongside somebody like Quacker Smith. Um, however, there's also no doubt that, you know, he's <laughs> quite literally head and shoulders above the next sort of options at, at five. Um, so, you know, if you want to start with your best tight five, um, that is your best tight five. Well, as soon as Franco Mostert returns from injury, and if as long as he's still playing fit, I think he goes back to the starting lineup and Arkansas comes off the bench. Um, or if Leo Diago, for example, makes a comeback. But uh, until then, I do think that Arkeus Neymar will continue to start and should continue to start um, because at the end of the day, he is our best player. And, you know, it's great having him coming off um, for, for half an hour um, being one of our best locks. But, you know, we when you don't want to compromise that first sort of 50 minutes um, by having somebody who's not at the same level as him um, over there. Uh, the front row, for example, that's that's pretty tried and tested. And the loose trio, see Ecclesi, captain of the side, Pierce Depp, the toy is all good. Um, struggled a little bit with injury and also had a bit of flu, but he has been cleared to play and will start in the number seven jersey. And uh, Ulrich Lowe gets an opportunity at number eight. Uh, somebody who I think has played himself into the position. Ever Lewis as well, massive setback for him. He's uh, um, undergone surgery and uh, will be out for, um, for the looks of it the rest of the year. Um, which makes a massive opportunity for Albert Lowe. You know, Jasper Bisa is waiting in the wings to come in once he's, his bench is finished. But this is a big opportunity for Albert Lowe to get a decent run and to, to put himself truly into the bigs to become a regular in the box squad. Uh, Kubas Reinach starts next touch Fami Gomez Dulu. Um, very important, I think, for Sash to have the experience of Kubas Reinach next to him. He's been around the block. Um, you know, whether he'll continue playing for the box for, for the next three, four, and maybe the next World Cup, we, we wait to see. He is one of the older members of the squad. We're already seeing how, you know, for example, Trevor Yukani is potentially kind of being phased out a little bit in terms of looking at other options. Um, so it will be interesting to see how Corbis goes. But with the massive selection of Sash Fami Gomazulu at 10, I think it's really important to have somebody with experience next to him. And uh, let's talk about the, the, the selection. Um, you know, we all kind of thought it was going to be a time, a case of if not when, he was eventually going to get a game at 10. Um, I don't think too many of us thought he was going to be thrown into the mix against the Wallabies straight away. You know, maybe potentially, for example, um, to come off the bench this week and maybe get a start next week. I think he was more looking towards Argentina for potentially a start. But uh, this shows you how highly um, Tony Brown and Rassi Rasmus rate him. If you've been watching the, the games recently, um, you'll see every single time he does something, they kind of pan to the coach's box and there's laughter, there's smiles. They really do rate this kid. Um, and why not? You know, he's got everything he needs to be an absolutely world-class um, operator. And he will get an opportunity this weekend. Uh, the rest of the back line is pretty much as predicted. The back three are Kurt Lawrence, the Ches and Colby Billy coming off the bit. I mean, coming off from an, an injury layout is back in the mix. Uh, I think a very uh, important after that concussion. Uh, yeah, I think he was always going to start. And again, maybe even more importantly, so because... Sashwami Gomezulu is starting and Brilla Rue being the most experienced um, second most experienced player in this team and the most experienced player in the back line. Um, very important that he is there to, to sort of guide them. And then David Delendi, Jason Creel, the most capped center pairing in, in the Trimark history. So a player like Sashwami Gomezulu could not ask for a better environment, a better team to, to make his uh, you know, maiden start in the number 10 jersey. He's got World Cup winners across the back line. Every single one of those back line players by him are a World Cup winner. The most capped center pairing 
Um, Vinu, I think, is, is um, uh, you know, one of the most capped remarks ever. Um, you know, you've got Damon Delinda, Jesse Creel, all, you know, plus 60 tests, veterans. Uh, Kubis Ryan's been around the block. So it's the perfect environment for him. And uh, I'll tell, tell you what, Andre Pollard, I'm very serious points. Coming off the bench is an interesting one. You, we obviously can go to the 6-2 split with Andre Pollard off the bench because of Sash Farmer Gomez, because we've got players, we can play in different positions. But uh, this is going to be the first time that Andre Pollard is really going to have to fight for his place in, in the team. You know, um, over the past sort of six, seven years, the number 10 jersey has been his. And um, other players have got opportunities, but only when he's been injured. You know, this is one of the few times where we're playing a strong side. He's available, but not been selected. And um, <clears throat> for the first time, I think he's got pressure on him. And, and I, look, I don't think necessarily that Sash Farmer Gomez is going to start against the All Blacks unless he has two like, man of the match performances against Australia. But Pollard will be very, very aware of the fact that now he's got genuine competition to number 10. And I think that's going to bring out the best in him. Uh, if we look at the bench, Malcolm Marks will look to make an impact, um, continue to sort of make that transition back from a long term injury. Chaos in the camp, Vincent Cock, as kind of expected. Ben Jason Dixon is an interesting one. This is the nice thing about having um, uh, a, a pierce depth toy. You can slot in that lock. Peter Jim, Ben Jason Dixon can also cover lock. Um, I've said, so somebody came up to me saying, How can you say he covers lock? Well, because he does. Um, and then you've got Ben Jason Dixon, Quack and Smith, Mark Ruben Starden, which is essentially a complete new back row. But uh, Ben Jason Dixon can go into the second row. Pierce depth toy can go into the second row. Um, so you've got everybody ticked off there. And then Grant Williams will continue to make an impact off the bench, where he's been really, really solid this year. And very much looking forward to, to what he brings. Um, let me know what you think about the team down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.